Hey guys, and welcome back to some more M7 gaming. Today, though, I bring terrible news. I keep going back to this enchant. It's like an abusive relationship, and every time it lets me down, it has so much potential. But every time I put it on something, the item's crap, it's bugged, it's irrelevant, it gets replaced by something else. But finally, I saw a new super rare drop from Master Mode Floor 7, the Dark Claymore, the first ever longsword in Hypixel Skyblock. Its base stats are goated. It's like a giant sword on meth with increased range so it's actually viable for buzz as well. How can that possibly go wrong? I went all in. 10 star, T7 enchant, Chimera. Even though Diana hasn't been mayor in forever, that cost me three and a half billion coins. Thank you, Diana, by the way. What I'm saying is, where are the gemstone slots? Can't put perfect gems on this, but otherwise it is absolutely hyper max to the brim. And it's a very interesting weapon. We're going to be playing M7 today, playing buzz, so you get to see how it performs. I have a few words about it, but it's nice to have another OP weapon to hyper max. I can't lie. I had just missed the feeling so badly and I really wasn't expecting a new weapon. So let's see how it goes. So if we check the enchant guide, for some strange reason, they made it so you can't put ultimate enchants like Swarm, Soul Eater on long swords. If you look, this is a mythic dungeon long sword. You can only put combo five or chimera five on long swords. I have no idea why that's the case. Ooh, that's a bad freeze frame, but it turns out that was a bug and it's been patched alongside all of the other bugs I mentioned in this video. Video. But obviously, I can't be out here cutting about with a combo five maxed out weapon, okay? And Diana hasn't been mayor in forever. I'm pretty sure the election room just opened and Diana still isn't there. So Chimera is only skyrocketing in price and Jan sold me his for 3.5 billers. So I'm praying that this weapon is good. Wait, out of here. Uh, that was a spoiler for later on in the video. Don't even worry about that. DS's triple handle was painful to watch, yeah. So he dropped three handles, including one shiny handle, of which there's only two on the server that's unknown, and he still hasn't even dropped the Dark Claymore. This thing is rare, bro. I think it's just not that expensive right now because people don't really understand it, and it is extremely buggy. You see, I have a really slow swing animation with it. It's basically because attack speed doesn't work on it, but it works if you go up close. And like some enchanted do work on it from range, but a lot of enchants don't, including Siphon. Siphon doesn't seem to work at range, which honestly, if it did, would be really, really nice just to swing at something from a distance and get some healing. But a lot of the things on the sword are really, really buggy right now. And Jay did confirm to me that the sword, quote unquote, has a few issues at the moment. Try LCM with it. I have tried LCM with it. I am not going to play LCM in M7, but we might do some clips later on or talk about it because I have tried it and it has some good results. It seems to be made to be a buzz weapon though. So I'm going to test it as a buzz weapon because obviously it wouldn't have the five range if it was meant to be an LCM weapon because Mage just has like infinite range pretty much. All right, this should be a good showcase of this weapon. That's 300 mil damage right there. It's pretty insane. But weirdly, it's only effective against like Shadow Assassins and Angry Archaeologists. And its range is super inconsistent. And I just suck at the game. So with no Chimera on my Claymore, we're actually going to compare it against a Giant Sword real quick. Because this is basically the Giant Sword killer. But if we look at the damage of the Giant Sword, it's 530 versus 530 on the Dark Claymore as well. That is broken. 210 strength and 150 crit damage which is basically like 360 total strength, right? Absolutely clowns on the giant swords, even though the giant sword is withered and this is fabled. Its stats destroy the giant sword, which is the highest single hit damage weapon in the game. So I'm super excited to see what this is like when it's fixed, honestly. Once they fix this sword, even if they don't buff anything about it, it's crazy good, man. And bear in mind right now as well, we are running dupe buzz, so I'm not getting the solo buzz bonuses, which would be like twice as much melee damage. So it's kind of good. Why did I add Chimera to it? Because Chimera would actually be goated on this. Like, without having to reforge my talismans, if I use the G-Drag, that's easy 100 attack speed. With Antique Remedies, that is a ton more strength. Like, you saw it was already beating the Giant Sword in strength. Try adding another 234 to it with Chimera. It could be good with Soul Eater against mini bosses, but I think Chimera would be better against bosses, because obviously that's where your DPS truly matters, and it's gonna trigger on every single hit. Plus, I don't don't really want to be reforging talismans for attack speed in dungeons because I'm still going to clear with a terminator, right? So I still want as much crit chance as possible for that. So I think Chimera is honestly the best way to go about it. <sighs> it 
saddening. But I have faith. Thank you for the two as well. Zephyr saying, do I buy term or claymore? I love buzz over arch. Ooh, bro. I'm team claymore right now. I think with the right tweaks and with some bug fixes, this weapon could be goated and save melee buzz. But fam, Terminator is so much better if melee buzz does end up being viable and the claymore is a thing you're still gonna need terminator to clear rooms it's like old melee buzz used to use a flare of truth as well as a valkyrie right because valkyrie sucks at clearing rooms because you can only hit one mob at a time the terminator is basically gonna be the flare of truth in that situation right and also scenarios like this it doesn't have the range to hit necron from here so you're useless when you're killing the dragons in phase five you're useless when you're shooting gold on you're useless you know it's like only now can I use the sword? And honestly, like, it does about the same as Terminator from what I can see against Necron like this. It still could do with some buffs and fixes. 100%, don't get me wrong. But in no way is it a Terminator replacement. Terminator is just too good. I think it's the second rarest drop on this floor after a shiny Necron's handle because there's only two shiny Necron handles that I know of. And there's a few dark claymores on the auction house. I think the price is around 600 mil or so. And I think the price is only bad right now because the sword is kind of buggy. Like, the sword is really good and has potential if they fix it. It's just so buggy. Like, I can one-shot ghosts with it from a five-block range. It's so nice. But the ghost can still damage me from that distance and the siphon doesn't work. So, it's not exactly practical. But knowing that I can farm ghosts one-tapping them with this is so nice rather than having to do a sword swap or anything. Also, thank you for the two as well. Gecko, good time to plug refraction.shop. It's always a good time. LCS swap with Clay. Claymore, there's no point in doing that right now, man. Because attack speed doesn't work with it, but you can glitch the sword and make attack speed work with it. But if I was swapping between another weapon constantly, it would break the attack speed. So I'm better off not axing, if that makes sense. The sad thing is I could end up doing all of this and melee bars will just end up being like the same as Terminator. But I just want to make it work. Because this weapon right now, I'm just gonna say it's pretty much the best LCM weapon, which is a kick in the teeth for two reasons. One, because it's obviously supposed to be a buzz weapon with the swing range and two because mage is pointless in m7 <laughs> if you use a chimera 5 dark claymore with antique remedies on your g drag it does do more damage than a chimera 5 hyperion in lcm but literally you need to have chimera and you need to have remedies on your g drag the damage difference is that close so i'm not too worried about lcm like i said mage is kind of pointless in this floor anyway i just want to see buzz get some love frick mage why isn't mage good in m7 what are you going to do? That's my question. The blood mobs have 16 million HP. The diamond giant one taps you even if you're in Necron. So what the hell are you going to do when you're in storm armor? You can't reach the dragons with your mage beam and there's no way you'd be able to hit them with any other mage weapon that does any significant amount of damage. Like what could you do with mage? And you will just obliterate your tank. Like your tank's already having a rough time out here, man. And you want to play mage? You want to cut about in storm armor and do that to your boy who's going through the most boring role in the game for you? No, I say nay. So yeah, Yes, mage is unfortunately pretty much totally irrelevant in this floor. <laughs> All right, boys, I believe you guys are going to bring me the RNG today because normally I cry about never getting anything on stream, right? But I've done over 100 runs at this point. I've dropped two stars and one of them was my first ever completion on stream. So I'm hoping that M7 is a new chapter in Refraction's RNG. <laughs> How many new drops are there in M7? There's the fifth Master Star. There's T5 Master Skulls. There's the four shiny Wither Pieces. There's the shiny Handle. And there is the Dark Claymore. I believe that's all of the drops, unless there's something like extremely rare that literally nobody has gotten. But I am gassed about the Claymore, honestly. The shiny pieces are kind of a waste of time. I hope they improve those. I think like shiny Handle should at least make Diamond Wither Blades. I think that would be sick. Oh, and the music discs, but they're not exclusive to M7. Oh, and there's Thunderlord 7 as well. That's why I'm saying I think the Claymore deserves a little bit more love because I wasn't expecting to get this, man. Like, a whole new weapon is dope. That's why I just decided to max it out. It's been so long since we've had, like, a new weapon of this power level. And it's beautiful, especially now Enchanter Fix. I could just go all in instead of just whacking one for all on it. Well, you can't even put one for all on it. You literally can't. Yeah, it's a nice weapon. Like 312 million right there, right off the bat with no blessings with dupe bars. It's insanely good. It's just not quite there yet. And the thing is like five block range is not as good as you think it is. It's almost nothing actually. It's really weird. And like every single mob in master mode especially has ranged attacks. So you're still in range of like all of their attacks from five blocks anyway, but that's how far it is.
Like, it's really not far at all. You think when you read it, five blocks is a ton. Like, you can see it not registering there as well. It's really, really weird. It still feels weird to hit like that, though. Got like 2018 refraction. Right. Oh, be stylish with it, man. What's your pass right now? Actually, that's a sensitive topic that I'd rather not discuss during this stream. Diana was last mayor during Jerry, and it's been a whole other special mayor since then. So Chimera prices right now, on top of everything else, 10 starring and all that jazz. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever spend that much on a weapon ever again. At least I never hope that I have to, because my God, this sword cost me, I think around 5 billion coins. You see why I'm begging so hard for them to fix it? <laughs> Imagine spending five bill and it doesn't work. <laughs> Yo, at least I get to flex the claymore on King Midas, truly the most formidable of foes. Oh, this is dreadful, actually. <laughs> S pluses are possible. Yeah, yeah, we, we get S pluses consistently now. This is an S plus. 12 seconds later. The silverfish fix the dark claymore's attack speed. Interesting logic. Yes, it actually does. <laughs> I doubt it fixes it at range, though. Yeah, that is definitely not 100 attack speed. It's just visual. How many Chimera weapons do you own now? Daedalus Axe, Hyperion, Valkyrie, Rogue Sword, AOTJ, Dark Claymore, Gauntlet, seven. A holy number, boys. I have an addiction. <laughs> 2.5 mil profit. All this, come on, man. That's not what I want to see when I see profit. I'm so upset. But I think we're going to wrap up the stream there, boys. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you all soon. Peace.